What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that's genuinely been on my mind lately. So, a few videos ago, I talked about how YouTube officially is hiding dislikes from viewers. The only one who can see dislikes is the people that own the video that has the likes, the dislikes, you know. So, the ratings, the likes are still shown. But dislikes are hidden to everybody except for the people who created the video that the dislikes are on. And I've talked about how I find that to be absolutely stupid. I think it's awful. And I think it needs to change. So I'm going to request all of you right now to dislike this video. I don't want to see likes. And I know in the past I might have made jokes talking about, ah, dislike the video and people liked anyway and we moved on. No, I want this video to be cluttered with dislikes out of respect for the dislike button. Because I find it so infuriatingly stupid that they're hiding dislikes. It is a part of the rating system, okay? That's been a part of YouTube for the longest time. And honestly, I think there's a few reasons they've removed the dislikes. I don't think it's because they want to prevent harassment. I think there's more to it. Looking back at one of the YouTube rewinds, I think it was 2018, but I'm not too sure. It was one of the most disliked videos of all time. And... I don't know, I think YouTube might have been a little salty about that. Even though the video was, honestly, pretty shit overall. It was a very bad video. It was one of the worst YouTube rewinds I have ever fucking seen in my life. And I've watched all of them. And that was dog shit. It was absolutely horrendous. Never want to see that ever again. And another reason I feel like they could be hiding dislikes is because, yeah, hate mobs can be a problem. Like, if you're going to someone's video to spam them with dislikes when they haven't done anything wrong, that I can see being a problem. I really do. It is not right to just dislike bomb people for absolutely no reason other than just being a troll and entertaining yourself. It's not, it's not nice. And I know all of us have our mean moments, but if this person's doing everything they can to be happy and people are just dislike bombing them for no reason, that's pretty mean. It's pretty messed up and uncalled for. But I don't think that's a huge reason to hide dislikes as a whole because when you dislike a video still, like I said in the beginning, the people who made the video can still see the dislikes. So people can do their part and dislike those videos. I feel like that's just going to lead them on to dislike videos even more. And that's not good. And not only that, a lot of the big YouTubers who have been dislike bombed before for shitty things that they've done. I'm hoping YouTube isn't doing it because of the people that have gone to those videos to dislike their content because they don't take responsibility for their actions. For example, when it comes to big YouTubers such as Nikocado Avocado, he thrives off of dislikes. Dislikes is a rating that can boost your content further into the algorithm. And that's something he's strived for. Why do you think he was so confident to shit on YouTubers such as Corey X Kenshin? Because that is how he earns money. That's how he gets views. Uh, Shane Dawson, for example, did some pretty fucked up things in the past. And some people still defend him. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be a huge Shane Dawson fan. I used to love the videos where he'd make food or he'd try food. And I used to watch him back in 2009 a lot. Because I thought dark humor was funny. Although whenever he'd... Um, do blackface and shit like that or that one time he said the n-word on camera that's not excusable 
There should be no reason to do things such as that. At all. And I do not care what anybody says. You could say it's dark humor, it's funny, it's meant to be offensive. Offensive humor, dark humor, shouldn't have to racially profile people. Or racially offend people. You know? And I feel like being racist, doing racist shit like that online, you're going to get called out for it. There's going to be people that are going to hate you for it. Uh, same for YouTubers like Trisha Paytas. As much as I'm not a fan of her myself, I won't lie that from time to time she's entertaining, but she's done blackface before. And all these other YouTubers that have gotten dislike bombed have done racist and fucked up shit. So a lot of people on YouTube have a problem with it. And they're calling them out. And these YouTubers are starting to feel it. They are. And if that's the reason YouTube is hiding dislikes, that's pretty much YouTube defending people who've done negative shit. It's just YouTube defending their actions. And another thing that's absolutely stupid is like, let's say you're looking for a tutorial. Like, the other day, I wanted to try out an Xbox 360 emulator to try to play Saw 2 Flesh and Blood. Because I've played Saw 1, I made two videos on it back in October. But, I wanted to try out Saw 2 Flesh and Blood, and I had no idea how an Xbox 360 emulator even worked. I had no idea how to set it up. I had no idea if I needed certain downloads to have it ready. And, like, if you needed certain things to run it. I had no idea. But, now that YouTube's hiding dislikes, when I look for those tutorials, I don't know if they're good tutorials or not. I don't know if they're going to lead to websites that's going to give me viruses. I have no idea. So, YouTube pretty much screwed over a lot of people when it comes to looking for tutorials to do things or download things, or configure things, YouTube pretty much screwed them over. And also, you have to rely on the comments, but what if those YouTubers, or the people that made the tutorials, disabled their comments? If they were to disable their comments, and dislikes are hidden, you don't know if you can trust them at all. It would be completely based upon luck, coming across a tutorial that actually works. Now, don't get me wrong, for some things, it's safer to follow those tutorials. Like my tutorial that I made, my most popular video, it was just a tutorial where I went into the settings of something that I downloaded and showcased. You don't download anything because of it. It's all simple and all within the thing that I downloaded in the first place, which was the PlayStation 2 emulator PCSX2, where I configured the Xbox 360 controller to work properly because it didn't work before. Things like that, yeah, you can trust those easily. They're not hard to come across, and it should be completely fine. But what if it's a tutorial? Let's say you wanted to get, um, you wanted to get a game, but you have no idea where to get it. It's like a free indie game, and you're looking online for it, but you can't find it. Like, for example, Slender the Eight Pages. Now, I know this is weird because you can obviously find Slender D8 pages online. It's not difficult, but uh, back when I first got this laptop, when I looked up Slender D8 pages, I never knew where to find it. So I tried downloading it from a very terrible website known as Softonic. That gave me at least three to four viruses and took me a little while to get rid of because... I didn't have a great antivirus. I had the Windows built-in one, which did not protect my computer at all. And I had McAfee, which, uh, if anyone's ever used McAfee, you know it's definitely not the greatest, most protective antivirus. Pretty much, you don't know what's safe and what's not anymore. All because YouTube is hiding the dislikes that show you if people had good experiences trying this or negative. So please, dislike this video out of love for the dislike bar. Out of love for the dislike button nonetheless. Because even though it's hidden, it's still rating. It's still here. 
and hopefully people speak up and YouTube sees how stupid this truly was. That's all I have to say.